We're now going to look at the model checker configurator. It used to sit outside of the program. It had its own button. It's now been added into the BIM interoperability tools. And so we just go straight to the launch. Now this is another one of the items that's had a revamp. So it has a number of different tabs which you can access. So the first one is to set up a model checker file. You can give it a name, author, description, and you can even have a, an image to it as well. But what we'll do, we'll go through the settings first, and then I'll actually open one that already exists, and I'll show you then how to edit it. Because that, that's it's going to be the easiest way. Rather than trying to scrape, create one from scratch, there are lots of preset ones which you can use, and then you can just edit them to suit your purposes. So we go to the Advanced Check Builder, which is the first one, and you'll see that you need to know a little bit about uh, setting up the configurator. So what we'll say is we're going to create an, a check to check to see if there are flaws in the model. So we call it Floor um, Check. And it says, fail when matching elements are found, and it's fail when no matching elements. And then you, you can then put in a failure message which is no flaws detected. OK, and then we need to add in the information here. So we're going to add a filter. We're going to say the category is going to be, and then we choose the object type. So we scroll down until it comes to flaws. And flaws are included, condition is code true. And that's all you need to do. And all that then happens is you add it, and it's added to your list of checks. And you can go on and do any more like that. A much easier way is to use the wizard, because the wizard then will have preset settings and allow you to do your checks without having to know all of the operator comps and things like that. So this one says fail if it doesn't find the matching elements, which is exactly what we want, which is that one. So I'm checking model elements. And we're going to check for this time, we'll say windows, doors, etc. And you can say this is you can see all the things it's going to check for. So we'll say we want to find doors and windows. And then continue. So continue. And it says check only place instance of the model. So this is wall and door check. And then we finish. And that one's added to the list as well. Now there are some pre-built ones which we can add in. So these are entirely checked rather than going through firstly the um, advanced check builder and then the wizard. These are just ones that are already done. So what we'll say is uh, let's configure all the largest families. Let me just say add. OK. So now we can look at the checklist. And you can see there they all are. And what this allows you to do then in the uh, dialog box, when you open up your checks, it will allow you to have the organization you want. So you can say add a heading, and we'll say walls. And we'll say model checks. There we are. And then add a section. And we'll say end of the section, we'll have floors. And we'll have another section. And that one can be.
wounds. And that one can be families. Okay. So now we can look and see how it looks. There's our sections. Walls. Family types. Okay, got it slightly wrong on that one. That one should have been, uh, and it shouldn't be in the subsection, but uh, you can see how to build it up anyway. So once we're happy with that, we can save it and close it, but I'm not bothering with that. What I'm going to do is to go back to the first sheet and I'm going to say what we normally do is open up one that already exists. So we go to open. I'll say no, not to save my changes. I can then choose the Kobe extension. That's the one that we imported at the start. In it comes, and there are all the checks. And now, if we were to go through it, it will allow us to edit some of the checks that no checks to add in there. We've got the wizard, We've got the preset ones. And this is the one I was looking for. So this is to showing you all of the checks that it's got. And now we can say which ones we want to include or not include by deleting out the sections. So that one will disappear. And we can go through and change anything we want. We can delve down into the sub checks as well. And we can take those out or edit them. When you edit them, you can then go into all of the operators and the criteria and what it's doing. So you can really delve into this. And so this takes a, just a bit of understanding, um, but uh, you will get your head around it and uh, you will be able to do exactly the, or get the, exactly the output that you want. So I'm gonna say, close on this. I'm not gonna save my changes. And that is the model checker configurator. Thank you.